Meteor showers are overrated, but with good reason. It's not their fault that they're overrated. It's actually due to a large amount of misinformation dealt out every single year. For instance, you may have already read that the Perseid meteor shower is going to produce up to 100 meteors. But that's not entirely true. So why is everyone saying it? This is an article recently published by the BBC. Firstly, they've used an image that doesn't show any meteors, nor give you any guidance of where to look tonight. The image they've used is just pretty to look at. The line you see towards the right, which could be mistaken for a meteor, is actually a satellite or possibly a plane. But the most worrying part is the fact that they, along with many others, all reference the same source. NASA. Now you would expect NASA to be a very reliable source for data, but I've checked their webpage and I don't see any citation for any proof of there being on average 100 meteors observed per hour during its peak. I would however be very happy to be proved wrong. But this is the big issue, we have an echo chamber. 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 Everyone, and I do mean pretty much every major media outlet and science communicator, is telling you that you can see a ridiculously high number of meteors. So for those of us that do take their advice and camp out for the night, we are only met with disappointment when we see about 10 an hour. Meteor showers are incredible spectacles. The problem we have is that everyone who is telling you to go outside and watch it has likely never even sat through a meteor shower themselves. Because if they did, they'd realise that meteor showers are overrated. See that one? That's another meteor which has gone past. In a minute, I'm going to show you exactly what I saw when stargazing during the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, and hopefully give you an idea of what you can actually expect, because even at 10 an hour, meteor showers are special. But first, I just have to say this. Let's say the figure that NASA is giving out and everyone is then dishing out themselves is produced from results of a camera that recorded multiple Perseid meteor showers and produced a nice data sample for this conclusion. It imaged the entire sky. It only included meteors that were of magnitude 6 or brighter, since that's the human naked eye limit and we can't see any dimmer than that. It did so in crystal clear conditions, which means no moon, no clouds, and certainly no light pollution. And by doing all of this, it provided evidence of a peak period with up to 100 meteors per hour. If that's the case, then 99.9% .9 of people have absolutely no chance of seeing that. Firstly, your own human vision limits you from seeing our entire night sky. You can only see a fairly small portion. And that's not the worst thing considering the Perseid meteor shower is going to be emanating from one particular region of our night sky, but it is restrictive. It is also extremely likely you have to deal with light pollution to some degree, which will also bugger up your chances of seeing this many meteors. Okay, anyway, sit back, take a deep breath, and enjoy. This is what I actually saw during the Perseid meteor shower. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What on earth? <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? Was that in focus? These two hours in focus. That was amazing. In my local area, the street lights are switched off after midnight, therefore massively reducing the amount of light pollution. With the shower also peaking just after midnight, I decided to play Mario Kart until then. I did, however, set my camera up to record the night sky, and here's what it saw. Yep, missed that one. Just a bit too low, just behind the house.
That's for the footage I got, but we now have enough data to make our conclusion. In one hour, I witnessed eight meteors. Hour two, I saw nine. And hour three, I caught 11, three of which were unfortunately after the camera stopped. Think of that what you will, considering my skies are Bortle 6. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And if you would like to see even more astronomy content, then check out my new bite size series, The 42 Wonders of Our Night Sky. I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.